Conventions and Laws. Those versatile Viscounts of voluminous verbosity. They portray a panoply of personalities under this preeminent proscenium. Please welcome Mr. Smythe and Mr. Jones. Mr. Smythe and I'm Mr. Jones and how is each and everybody doing today? Welcome to the theater, the famous royal theater and while we're in the theater I say let's do a play using our imagination as well as good enunciation together we will be creating a creation that will take your breath away a stage, my friend. Attend and hark if you've an ear to lend. We're gonna tell a tale with once upon a time at the start, and there's a happy ever after at the end. Uh, say, Mr. Jones. Yes, Mrs. Smythe. What story shall we play as play this evening? I say that we tell a tale as old as time. A song as old as rhyme. Beauty, Beauty and the Beast. Special tale of a very special girl. She's full of hopes and dreams, a little something like you. And if she puts some work into it, makes her mind up to pursue it, she can make her wish come true. It may be awfully hard to do, but with imagination, some courage and determination, if she can conquer all her fears and trepidation, then she just might make it through. For all the world is a stage, my friend. Attend at heart if you've an ear to let And here's something on which you can depend We're gonna make a little magic if you all do your part We will create a little comical of courage and heart We're gonna tell a tale with once upon a time at the start And there's a happy ever after Happy end Happy ever after at the end What are you doing? I'm speaking French. French? Oui. Why are you speaking French? Well, since our story begins in a small provincial town in France, I thought it would be a good idea to, you know, set the mood. Set the mood. Oui. How long have you been speaking French? Well, what time is it now? That's right. <laughs> Actually, it's time for you to introduce our first royal guest. It is. Oui. <sighs> Madame et Monsieur, it is with the greatest pride and deepest pleasure that we welcome you here today. And now please help us give a warm welcome to our royal guest, Savoie. The only. Savoie and only, Mademoiselle Belle. Bonjour, Mademoiselle Belle. Oh, bonjour, Mr. Jones and Mr. Smythe. Bonjour and welcome to the Royal Theatre. Oh, well, thank you. I'm so excited to be here and help tell my story. Yes, we know the world of the theatre may be new to you. Oh, not at all. In fact, I just finished reading the collected works of William Shakespeare. Oh, the Bard of Avon. Oh, but for a muse of fire, that would... would ascend the brightest heaven of invention. <laughs> oh, bravo! Thank you. I'll bet between the two of you, you know a lot of roles. That we do, lady, as we are professional thespians. Ah, uh, he means actors. Oh, yes, I know. And as such, we will play most of the roles in your story. I can hardly wait. Yes, I shall pretend to be Gaston. And I shall pretend to be the Beast. <laughs> and you shall pretend to be Belle. But I am Belle. You will be marvelous. <laughs> oh, thank you. And I'm sure you'll be marvelous as well. Did you hear that? Another rave review and we've not yet begun. <laughs> and so, we begin! Places, please! A scene in the village. Once upon a time, there was a delightful demoiselle named Belle. And it was on this ticket. Chair. <laughs> and he was a little bit taller. Her lucky day. Hello, Belle. Hello, Gaston. I bet you did.
didn't know that today would be your lucky day. <laughs> no. Oh, uh, oh, Jean-Marie Le Prince de Beaumont is here for a book signing. Um, no. I know. Free turkey legs for everyone! <laughs> no! Sorry. Today is the day that Belle's dreams come true. What do you know about my dreams, Gaston? Well, I actually, Gaston knew nothing about Belle's dreams. All he knew was, I'm the most eligible bachelor in the village. I'm strong, I'm handsome, I'm derriere. Debonair. Exactly. Let <laughs> me call the ladies swoon. Yes. Not all the ladies. Yes, there was one exception. Hey, Bell. this is an enchanted castle. We can all talk. All of you? Yes, most certainly. My name is Cogsworth, at your service. And I'm Mrs. Potts. <laughs> I'm Hard, I'm Rumiere. Candles and teapots and clocks. Oh, my. We are you are not in your poor provincial town anymore. Yes, Belle soon learned that she was indeed in an enchanted castle. And as she continued to explore, she discovered a magic rose. It's beautiful. Suddenly, from out of the shadows, sprang forth a beast! Roar! Oh! A hideous beast with crusty yellow fangs! Oh, a huge and rotting breath that smelled I spent all day 
three painting that. I know I want to chase a pie. How could you? It's banana cream. I love pie. I love it. What are you doing? <laughs> Excuse me. Are you two finished? He started. No, I did not. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. See? Gentlemen, do I need to get the wardrobe? Not the wardrobe! <laughs> ah! It's terrible. Oh, I Do you promise to behave? We promise. Very well then. Play on, Master Thespians. <laughs> Princess. And we all lived happily.